Stanley Dunwood is best known for his work with Radiohead. Since 1994 he has produced all the band's artwork. starting to think about the artwork for the record that became the eraser then and we were down in Cornwall and there was this big flood and it was you know I started drawing stuff straight after that. The artwork kind of evolves from listening to the music so by the time the music's finished and the artwork's finished they've entwined together so much that it kind of makes sense. So Tom looks at this, you know, 13 foot long liner cut of, of London underwater and, and I think he thought, well, actually that fits. like a light-hearted little aside. The sort of person that would have it in their bedroom, I would hope, would find it funny. You know. It's supposed to be like, you know, um, you know the desiderata? And that goes under that one. Like so. Something that you could put on the wall in a nice sort of suburban house. So it's kind of like home sweet home. There's that one, and there's no future, which is, of course, the, the Sex Pistols one. There is no hope, and it, I think, whether or what they are so far. But they're all, they're, they're going to look really beautiful because they're drawn. I do the letters really faint and then sort of draw a line that intertwines around it as if it was growing around it. Nothing will ever get better. I scan them and stick them together on the computer and then output them onto, onto film and make the screen. I want them to look pretty. Put them above the bed, kind of thing. You have to kind of imagine what it's going to look like before you've started, in a way, with this sort of stuff, because this is really kind of graphic -y. It's not, it's not very expressive. In Cambridge, where I'm doing these etchings, the, the journey there is kind of nice, because it's through, up through the fens. But where I'm working is through a, an out-of-town retail park, sort of in this weird hinterland. I, I kind of like it, because the work that I'm doing there is, is very much about that stuff, about suburbia and new retail trends and huge devouring shopping malls, designer outlet villages, loads of them. And they're the, the sort of engine or the, the dragon and the prey come from all the suburban housing. People drive in willingly. <laughs> Liquid gold. That puts a layer on there, and you do that when it's lifted off the, yeah. the paper, and then it goes down. And, then... and that's one. It's very nice, isn't it? Gold. I think we can get a better mechanical thing going on. The idea is to become a kind of humanoid machine because if you get really into it it's kind of like a trance yeah. and you're just doing the same action and you get a sort of really nice rhythm to doing it Oh, this is the outline, sort of pulls everything together. 